In this lesson, we're going to teach Carol the dog how to solve any maze. And this is from Code HS, and it's the introduction to JavaScript. And we're going to do this lesson after we've done um, lessons 1 to 15, and more particular that we've learned while loops and we've learned conditional if statements. All right, so let's look at the exercise. So we want to write a program that helps Carol find his ball within a maze. Carol will need to navigate the maze to pick up the ball and end up on the same intersection with the, fault with the ball facing east. The maze will be random, but will also be fully connected, meaning it will not have any islands or isolated sections. And hence, you should follow the wall while you haven't found the ball. Attempt to do as few things as possible per loop iteration in order not to make your program too complicated. For example, be sure to only move once per turn. If done correctly, this program shouldn't require more than 25 lines, lines of code, not including comments. All right, so here is maze one that Carol has to find the ball. It's up in the right-hand corner. Here's maze two. The ball's kind of buried in there. And then maze three, Carol's got to come around here and find it at the bottom. Okay? All right, so at this point here, Let's look at um, how to solve a maze. All right, so we would want to go over this, how to escape a math according to maths. And what you want to do if you want to escape a maze, if you place your hand on one wall, so let's say you're stuck in a corn maze, and you place your right hand on the wall. If you follow that wall all the way around with your right hand on the wall, you will eventually exit out of the maze. The same thing works with your left hand. As long as you maintain contact with the wall, you will exit the maze. So we're going to use this concept with Carol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a code that has Carol try to turn right each time. And if Carol can't turn right, then it tries to go straight to the front. If the front is blocked, then it's going to try to turn left and move. If the left is blocked, then it's going to turn around. So we're going to have the effect of Carol kind of tilting and turning as it works its way through the maze here. Okay, so let's start our code. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get a loop that will get Carol moving. And what I'm going to do is once Carol finds the ball, um, the, it, it's made its way out of the maze. So we're going to say while no balls present. So this will be the while loop that gets us started. Okay. And so we're first going to check to see if Carol can move to the right. So we're going to say if right is clear, then what we're going to do is we're going to turn right. And we're going to move. So that'll be our first move if it's available. Okay. Now, as I go on here, you're going to see that I'm going to have an indentation problem. I tried to clear this, but I couldn't get through this when I did this. I couldn't clear it when I did it earlier. I don't know what it doesn't like about it. Um, maybe somebody in the comments can help me out that uses code HS. Okay, so if the right is blocked, so if the right is not clear, then what we're going to do is we're going to say else if front is clear. And it could be that I'm using else if instead of doing it with else's. That could be why the indentation won't clear at the end. Okay, so we're going to move. And if the front is blocked, the right is blocked and the front is blocked, then we're going to check to see if the left is clear. So if the left is clear, then we're going to turn left. And we're going to move. Okay. And then if the if the right is blocked and the front is blocked and the left is blocked, the only thing left to do is we're going to say else. And we're going to turn around. And we're going to move. So that means we're stuck and we have to turn around. 
Okay, so now we'll add a take ball from line 21 here. And let's test it. Okay, you see Carol's working through the maze and it finds ball. Let's slow it down and run it again so you can see. So you can see Carol's making these decisions. And then it eventually works its way and finds the ball. Now, the one thing we don't have is that Carol has to face east um, at the end after it takes the ball. Okay, so what we can do is we can put in a little, a small loop here that says, while not facing east, Turn left, and then let's try. There we go. And that what that'll do is that'll get Carol to turn until it faces east. Okay, let's try it in uh, maze two. And it works this way and it finds it. And let's try maze three. And then it finds it. Okay, so this was a fun program that uh, the students liked when, it, when I used to teach it. And give it a try if you're teaching JavaScript and Code HS. And you should be able to find this in the toolbox if you search um, uh, on there, just search for MazeDoc. Okay, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.